in the United States, um, millennials and, and Gen, Gen uh, Zs have some vague notion of you know, spiritual but not religious, but they're falling they're, uh, in droves away from specific. Like formally, that makes them more vulnerable to these new political religions. Well, indeed, no, I, 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 I agree. But the thing is that those aren't specifically, they're not literally religious in the sense that they give us this supernatural or theological. They're crummy moral systems. Mm -hmm. And so it does leave open the possibility of having a not so crummy moral system. Uh, okay, namely, yeah. But the essential element, I think, is that it unites a group against other groups. Yeah. Um, so human well-being wouldn't do it, but fighting white supremacy or fighting CRT or the communists or the fascists or whatever. So I think it, it, you can't just put anything in there. I, you know, I'm a Durkheimian, and so I think a good religion, anything that's going to fit in a whole, and by good, I don't mean, but I just mean something that will make a good fit, is going to have to be one that has a group bonding function for us to come together so, to fight something.